stopped on the Blue Ridge Parkway, just started, and I'm using my cell phone, Samsung 7, and uh, just starting out from Highway 19, and we can see the beauty of the uh, parkway here. This is just absolutely beautiful overlook, and uh, it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. And one of the great, really beautiful things is right here. These clouds are sitting on top of the mountains right here. And you can see the mountains over here. And one back, way back over here. See if we can get any closer. And uh, the real beauty of like riding motorcycles is that you get a chance to ride through these clouds. You ride through the clouds. And it's kind of like fog is what it looks like when you're riding through a cloud. And then you get above the clouds and you can look down and you can see like the sea of, uh, of uh, clouds below you, just like you would see right here. And so that is just really beautiful. So pretty. Just like being in an airplane right here. I'm not, I think we're like 4,000 feet up. I, thought, I saw a sign a few minutes ago, 4,500 feet up. I think that was correct. It looks like it too from right here. But this is part of the beauty of the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway. Beautiful day too. All kinds of trees. All types of vegetation. All types of animals. And here's a pretty butterfly. Okay, guys. We're going to be back on our journey again now. This beautiful look right here. You just won't find a prettier view, I don't think. Especially, again, in the morning time when you ride motorcycles, that's one of the big beauties of riding motorcycles. You get to ride through the clouds on some of these mountaintops. And uh, I've even had it hell on me going through uh, rainstorms on top of the mountains. It was just minor hell, but it was interesting the way the weather changes. But on top of the mountains, everything is wet. This grass is so wet, if you pull over on your motorcycle, you'll get stuck. So don't pull over on this grass, no matter how tempting it may be, if you can help it. Well, let's get back on the journey. View Westner Ball, elevation 5,560 feet. Elevation here is 4,900 feet which is not bad. Beautiful mountains, again. That's the beauty of uh, Blue Ridge. The road seems to be made, you know, right on the edge of the mountain areas, so you can see the beauty of them. Let's see if we can close in a little bit right here. Let's continue on. That's Another overlook. Look how beautiful this is. We're right at the top, a little over 5,000 feet. And look at these mountains. They're just far as you can see. And this is the right side of the road. And this is the very top of the mountain here. And since we're on top of the mountain, we can see um, on the other side of the road, we've got a beautiful overlook over there too. You can see all these mountains here. And a valley in the bottom down there. It's so pretty. This is the Cowie Mountain Overlook. There's just so many different places to stop on the Blue Ridge. We're getting a little bit of wind up here, about 25 mile per hour wind. And on 
Harley boys. It's so nice. Okay, just starting out on the um, Blue Ridge Parkway after coming out of Elkin uh, City. This is my first real view right here, and this is really so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Shenandoah Valley area in Virginia. As far as you can see, way, 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 way back to very faded, the mountains. It's about 75 to maybe 90 miles, and it's about 40, 50 miles to uh, these mountain tops right here that you see that are a little bit more prominent, but kind of far back. Beautiful little valley in the bottom right here. A really beautiful area. Had a chance to talk to one of the guys that keep up uh, this area. They keep up a 50 mile area of the parkway. Do a great job of doing it. And uh, this is high piney spur elevation, 2,805 feet. But uh, they only have like five employees to keep this grass cut and stuff like that, you know, and trim the trees and uh, pick up trash. And I mean, they do an incredible job. It's really not big, uh, it doesn't have a big staff of people doing it. And it's a government type job, but what a beautiful place this is. Head on a trusty gold wing. Well, let's get down the road. Got a long ways to go today, too, man. I tell you, about 10:30. I talked to this gentleman for about uh, 20 minutes, I guess. Sparta, McGarry. behind me, let's just say, Blue Ridge Parkway, constructed in 1935, started. Blue Ridge Parkway started in 1935, it was to help give people a job during the Depression, government type job, and it would take 50 years to complete the parkway. Look at the sign here. Parkway entering Virginia. We're now entering Virginia. We've come out of North Carolina. That's awesome, isn't it? We are in Virginia. So from here in Virginia, it should be 250 miles. 215 miles, I believe, to the end of the Blue Ridge Parkway. And uh, at the end of the Blue Ridge Parkway, it turns into another parkway, which is very similar to this road, and that is the Skyline Parkway in Shenandoah. The Skyline Parkway in Shenandoah. Now, the, Sky, the Skyline Parkway is 105 miles long. Okay, beautiful parkway like this. Parkway, as we know, is 469 miles long. So we got about 215 miles to go. Right? Right. Well, there's a marker there. 216. There's probably 217. And as we just come into Virginia, we got the beautiful bridge here. Isn't that a beautiful bridge? It's a double bridge. It used to be something that runs underneath it there. That's what that is. I just checked my mirror, nobody behind me. Go around this back.
bicyclist. That was an old man too. Riding a bicycle, he's got a good heart, you know. There's one thing about riding a bicycle, it builds up your heart, your cardiovascular stuff. So he'll live to be 120 probably. Now look at that wooden fence. They just don't make them like that anymore. You saw that a lot back in the 1800s, you know. Early 1900s. to this park ranger and he was telling me you know that um, they do have mile markers here uh, like a white triangle of stone or something yeah that's one right there 215 but he told me you don't see quite a many uh, big overlooks everything the mountains quite like you do in the area I've covered from Cherokee all the way up to Elkin, North Carolina, which is yeah that's maybe 10 miles from the Virginia line. So this will be a little bit flatter. Looks like to me I'll make a lot better time. Uh, look at that. I just love that fence. here, uh, the temperature and all. It's going to be a warm day. Some of our motorcycle buddies here. One thing about guys, you sit on a motorcycle, they always wave, you know. You wave at them, they wave. And uh, always very friendly that way. It's a camaraderie about motorcycle riders. It doesn't matter what kind of bike you have or anything, you know. You'd like you're part of the group in some weird way or special way. traffic on this road either that's another thing about Blue Ridge Parkway there's not a lot of traffic that you got to deal with or anything like that Julie so Blue Ridge Music Center Parkway the ranger fella he was telling me he said you need to stop there and check that out Farm 
cutting land. We can see the land's getting a little bit flatter, so we're kind of, looks like to me, we're kind of coming out of the mountain when we get in Virginia right here. What I remember in Virginia, they don't really have a lot of high mountains like they do the Smoky Mountains. So some of the mountains of North Carolina, they kind of dwindle down to what they might call foothills. Foothills, so we'll see. Uh, got a canopy of trees over us for the shade. And the temperature drops about 10 degrees at least with these uh, the shade from these trees makes it really comfortable. Another opening here. Wow, look at that. Okay. Now look at this field right here. Again, this is kind of like about cutting grass. I've seen some of these yards four times bigger than that one with 45 degree slopes down and the hills and everything else. Look like it would be a death sentence to try to cut it with a lawnmower. And it amazes me. Some of these people keep their yards and I see a lot of it in the mountains. A lot of these people keep these yards acres, 10 acres of land with all kind of hills and all kind of inclines and declines and twists and turns. They keep their yards immaculate and the grass manicured. I don't know how they do it. It's hard enough to keep the yard, you know, half an acre manicured. And, uh, it's a pain, at least it is to me. I, my yard's about uh, three and a half acres. So, there's a house up here on the hill. Uh, they use a tractor on that land up there, field, the interstate. at the hotel this morning, so it was decent, it was decent breakfast, nothing to write home about. Woo! So far in Virginia here, the curves have not been that, that bad yet, and I'll say that, of course, getting a bad curve, but the curve hasn't been that bad, you know, and I'm able to do like 50 to 60 miles per hour. And now this curve, <laughs> this curve right here came on around like, like a 180, but it was a wide, wide 180, so pretty easy. Beautiful farmland. How you like to cut the grass in that yard? Oh man. The town right here, if you need to stop it and get something. 